Well, for me, living in Idaho is about being outdoors. It's, uh, it's the memories that you have because you went fishing a certain place with your grandpa, uh, went hunting with your dad in a certain field. And it's those sorts of things that stand out most in my mind. It's why I wanted to raise my own kids in Idaho. Give them a chance to hike where I've hiked and, and uh, fish the streams that I've fished. What we have here in Idaho, the beauty, the diversity in the landscape, the, the people, that it's a very special place. I think, you know, we're blessed with an abundance of natural capital in Idaho. The open spaces, um, the ability to hike, there's still wonderful places in Idaho, lots of them where you can go and feel like you might be the first person to set foot there. Open spaces for our, our families to play in and clean water for us to drink and rivers to fish in. The, the ability to retreat into the wilderness and um, really reconnect with one's sense of self, that's priceless. A day like today where it's an Idaho Bluebird Day, where the sun comes out every morning um, and even if there are clouds and even if there are rain, you know that at some point in time the sun's going to come out. It's why we moved here and it's why we stay here and make this home. I'm one of the founders along with um, two of the current board members, Justin Hayes and Rick Johnson. Around about five years ago, they um, you know, contacted me and we sat down and we started talking about the idea of starting this organization. Conservation Voters for Idaho is the only group in the state that wades into elections. Yet what differentiates us is that we actually work in elections. We get on the ground, we train candidates, we find new candidates. We have a voice in the state legislature, so we, we lobby in the state legislature on conservation issues. So part of the real skill set that conservation voters brings to an election is turning out voters, connecting candidates to people, and then making sure that those people show up on election day and cast their ballot. We also issue an annual legislative scorecard, and that's our way of holding the elected officials accountable for their votes on environmental issues. We endorse candidates. We spend money to get good candidates elected. I, I was given a little bit of information about the organization and, and thought right away, you know, this is what Idaho needs. It's in our best interest to have leaders that value how we manage our natural capital. And so obviously we've been big supporters. So I've worked with, you know, a lot of the different environmental organizations and was just really excited and have always been excited by the idea of one that works specifically on uh, legislative issues. Conservation Voters was um, there to help train candidates and probably the, the biggest gift that they have given to us, the, the fact that we've been able to not only train candidates but also because how we can message, how we can talk about the environment in a way that, that gets everybody wanting to conserve. There was uh, someone that they assigned to me that actually helped me with my campaign. It was great because I had never campaigned before. I didn't know anything about running an election. I found Conservation Voters of Idaho to be probably the most sophisticated organization. I mean they really get the political process. They understand how to function within that process and how to accomplish their, their goals. My husband is Nespers. I have that whole Nespers Indian um, family who advises me and who gives me wise counsel. And I found that same kind of good wise counsel with conservation voters. I think there are so many things to go around because without all of the people that we've had involved, we couldn't be the organization we are today. And those people that jumped in, both by holding house parties and giving donations and giving of their time to create an organization that we're celebrating today, its five-year anniversary. Conservation voters would not exist without people all across Idaho supporting our work at, at varying levels. Conservation voters is an organization that exists because our members value it and they're willing to invest in it. People are willing to give to them to support those causes and to make sure that you know our state uh, retains what's what's really of value. They found common ground to be able to protect land and to continue to have it be working land, but to use it in a in a more thoughtful way. So I think there is a sense that this is a critical time right now. 
And it doesn't really matter whether you're a Democrat or Republican or independent or libertarian. Um, folks are going to be fighting for the uniqueness of Idaho. I truly believe that conservation is one of those lasting issues where the, where the impact can be greatest and felt for the longest period of time. In Idaho, with, uh, farming, ranching, uh, spending time outdoors is really part of our heritage. Groups like Conservation Voters of Idaho ensure that that lifestyle, that heritage, continues on for generations to come.